hey my stitching family um i wanted to make a quick video on an idea that i stole from um hopefully i'm saying her name right sure i think that's how you say it it's spelled like share but i think you say it sure i don't know but she can correct me okay um so this is going to be a cheap way to um do your pre grit your pre not pre gritted your pre-threaded needle. So I had this idea of starting pre-threaded needles because you know I am all about doing things as fast as possible, especially because um, these projects take forever. So if you're able to pre-thread your needle, you just grab, you just thread all your needles, however many you have. I stitch by color, so I'll just take, um, you know, 20 plus needles and um, I'll make sure that they're all the same color for the color that I'm working on and then I'll just do this. So what you need, is one of these so this is like um, a sheet protector which you can get at Walmart especially in like when it's becoming up to be like school time it's like cheap but we got a pack of these for like less than a dollar so that's super cheap and then you need your magnetic tape I have never used this before so this will be the first time but you need magnetic tape and you can get this from um, Walmart or wherever for um, three dollars and ninety nine cents well I got mine at Target for three dollars and ninety nine cents but it's probably at Walmart for cheaper so grab some of this and then obviously you need your needles I don't have that many so don't laugh at me um so what you're gonna do is you first have this you're gonna measure out how much um magnetic stuff you need magnetic tape so it looks like I need about this much so I'm going to cut right here and if you're on definitely show me some lube and say hi you need scissors also so you can cut the corner off so I have my magnetic strip of tape right here what you're gonna do with the sheet protector you can see that there is a side that you need to cut okay so you have this top part and then you have the side that's sealed that you need to cut Hey Johnny, th thanks for watching, good to see ya. Thanks for saying something. You're going to cut this side that's sealed all the way down. Like I said, this is a very, well I don't really have the best scissors, that's another hot mess. Let me grab another pair of scissors right quick. Okay, so you're gonna cut this side off. There's also a way to like use your old embroidery thread, thread for um, something cool as well. But um, I'm going to try that later. And if it works, I'll let you know. Okay, so I'm now cutting this. Hey, Nicole. Thanks for joining. I like that people are on and watching. Okay, so this is super cheap option. We're on debt. Thanks, college. <laughs> All right. Now this side. Okay, so you can just leave that side kind of how it is. Maybe not. I'll change my mind in probably about two seconds. Hey, Thanos, thanks for joining. So now you have your, well, you're supposed to have your piece of cut. You know, it's always a good time when you lose things. Okay, I don't really know where the piece I cut went. Let me get up. Oh, I was sitting on it. All right, it's never a dull moment with Portia, huh? Okay, so what you're gonna do, you can actually cut the side if you want, but I'm, yeah, I'm gonna have to cut the side actually because I wanna be able to do my thing. So I'm gonna cut the side. So you cut the sealed side and you're actually are gonna have to cut the other side if it's not already. Obviously the other side is sealed still, so I'm actually going to cut that side. And if I make a mistake, like I said, these are cheap and I have like a bajillion. So now you have this. Hey Marlies, thanks for joining. Good to see ya. Now you're going to take the sticky side of your magnetic strip off. Hold it. Alright. Let me see. Okay, you're gonna peel, I'm telling you, <laughs> never a dull moment. I think some of you might just watch these videos because something ridiculous literally always happens every single time. Okay, so now you have it all peeled off 
and you're going to stick it right up at this white part right as close to the top as you can get it thanks Laura I'm so glad so now um hold on I'm gonna show you right after I apply it like I said this is gonna be yeah it's already messed up <laughs> All right, it's re it's re it like it can restick itself, I guess. So you're gonna wanna I should probably not actually do this right here. I'm gonna do it on a hard surface like a binder, cause that would make the most sense, right? Mm -mm. Hey Elizabeth, hey girl, look, you caught me live. I'm so happy. Okay, so we're doing the magnetic. The sticky part is going on this thing. You wanna start. Sorry, like I said, you can't see me, but I will explain, especially um, just to make sure that you understand. Okay, so you're going to start at one side, you're going to put it down, and then you're going to keep going. You don't want to, like, put all, you guys know how to, like, do deal with sticky things. So, there you go. Now, we have this right on there. I started at one side, and then I kept going. So, you want to start stick. Stick it at this side and then slowly press down so it gets all the way across. Now, what are you going to do? <laughs> Liz, no. I wish. You are burning calories, though. That's true. <laughs> uh, okay. Now I'm going to take my pitiful needle collection. You guys, look at this. Mm -mm. Somebody needs to get an upgrade, right? Look at this. Look. When I was making all those posts about my needles breaking, I was not kidding. I actually honestly didn't have this much, this, the, many more than this, but, um, the struggle was real. I have, like, some, like, weird, like, super small needles, too. Obviously, you can't see that, but, um, I have, like, where the eye, the needle, super small. Anyway, so what you're gonna do, I'm gonna show you. So, you have your thing here. Uh-oh, did I just drop a needle? I'm telling you. Oh, I did drop a needle. Let me just get this over with so I don't hurt myself. Okay, so what you're going to do, um, this side is up a little bit simply because um, I didn't cut it properly. Good times. Okay, so you're going to take, obviously, your needle and you're going to stick it on there. And I can, I'm going to show you right after I'm done. This is so cool and I'm so excited because this is going to get my work done faster. I'm literally obsessed with doing Heaven and Earth designs as fast as possible because I have a lot of charts that charts that I want to stitch and clearly I need time to do that. So what you want to do is just like that. They're stuck on there. How cool, right? So you have, you just put your needle on there and then you can put some thread. Actually, I should probably thread some. Maybe I will. I would have to figure out where my color is, which I don't know right now. Um, that's pretty much it. And so the cool part is once you thread the needle, obviously you guys know how to thread needles, so I'm not really going to go over that. Once you thread the needles, you know, you'll have the floss and stuff hanging down. And then you can just pull this cover over it, and it kind of keeps things safe, and you can travel with it. If you want, you can probably, on the back of this, like, take a piece of cardboard... So an example would be, those needles are all crazy because I don't have stuff on them. But like this came with cardboard, okay? So what you could do even, you could just glue this if you really wanted to, to give it like a hard surface. So I'll give you an example. It doesn't really cover all the way, but whatever. I might honestly do that. You can glue a little piece of cardboard to the back, right? So like I said, I cannot take credit for this. I learned a lot of things from sure. Um... There you go. That's pretty much it. Yeah, Dolores, I, I think it is too. I think it's pretty cool. So you can see my needles are like all over the place right now because they don't have anything holding them down. <laughs> but, um, you know. All right. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys um, try it out. Hey, Rhonda. Thanks for joining. Um, Elizabeth, if you missed it, I was um, giving an example of how you can cheaply pre um, pre-thread your needles to make work faster so if you're stitching all you need to do is just grab another needle in the color you want um and then i guess you could label them if you want as well obviously i don't need to since i only stitch one color at a time so i can do like 20 needles on there and i have a color and i'm just you know grab a needle stitch grab another needle stitch you know it gets things so 
quick 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 and that's what i'm all about like i you know you guys know these things are like thousands of stitches and especially if you do a super size oh, i have anxiety just thinking about it um you know you have a lot it's it's too much so you want to be able to do it as fast as possible so you can get the most enjoyment of life luckily i'm 27 so i have some years left but um well who knows you never really know but um that's like the main goal all right you guys um hey Rhonda. hey marley's thanks for joining oh i like you too thanks for watching hey casey thanks for watching um all right that's it if you want to see anything else i can pull up some other tricks out of my sleeve but the videos on the pen stitch with the one over one and the different fabric and that list that i made for you guys will be coming hopefully within the next several weeks we are super busy because we're trying to move and like craziness so um yeah i will get back to you on that so thanks for watching hey rachel yeah yeah rachel thanks for watching that video it was i'm telling you like that pin stitch is on point like i just love it it's so awesome i use it like every single day all the time so it is the best thing ever if you missed the pin stitch video um which was about how to start and end on the front definitely take a look at that i have videos on easy pdf um so if you're like looking for a way to highlight your chart in pdf i had a video about that even you don't need a tablet or anything so there's a bunch of videos in the group um, I wish you could make like a folder for videos. That would be cool, but I don't think you can do that. So um, just take a look. I guess I could start hashtagging all of my videos, maybe. I don't know what you want to call them. If you have a creative, those creative minds out there, if you have a creative mind of what I could has, ha, hashtag the videos with, that would be cool. So then I could just tell you, look for this hashtag. Like for my color by color, it's um, H-A-E-D, color by color. And that's my hashtag. So, um, yeah, Sabrina, no problem. Yeah, Sieta, hopefully I'm saying all these names right. Thank you guys for watching. I love when you guys get on live. Definitely show me some love. Let me know if this helped you. If you try it, definitely let me know. Um, it's cheap. I'm all about cheap, my friend. That is my life story. So, you know, we live a frugal life. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Um, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Happy stitching. Oh, Lori right before I get off. Um, I do not have a YouTube channel. Actually, everything I do is um, on Facebook. Although, I guess I could maybe start um, doing these videos on my page. I have, like, um, well, I don't want to, like, talk about it, but I have, like, a health and fitness page that I run on here, and I could maybe start doing videos there, and then I can make, like, I don't know, I could start a hashtag on there if that's easier. I don't know, but um, I have a lot of um, stitching people that follow that page. So, um, I don't know. If you have a hashtag idea, definitely tell me. But most of the videos I do do are in this group because there are so many of you and I definitely want to stay connected. So I do do a lot of videos on this group. I could, I guess, double up and do videos in both places or whatever. I don't know. Whatever is easiest. But um, I post like whips and stuff on there. Um, thanks, Shirley. Hey, May. Thanks for joining. All right, you guys. I'm getting off. I have choir practice that I need to do. Woo -woo, musician life. All right. I'll see you guys later. Love you guys. I hope you have an awesome stitchy day.